Kibera is the largest slum in Africa and the third largest in the world. Most Kibera slum residents live in extreme poverty, earning less than $2 per day, and unemployment rates are high. Clean water is scarce, and diseases caused by poor hygiene are prevalent. A great majority living in the slum lack access to basic services, including electricity, running water, and medical care. Kibera is divided into 13 villages, including Kianda, Soweto East, Soweto West, Gatwekera, Kisumundogo, Lindi, Laini Saba, Siranga, Makina, Salama, Ayani, and Mashimoni. <laughs> Despite all the difficulties in life that Kibera residents face, we find a reason to smile and to make other people smile as well. Then you don't talk for a while. No. Mimi. <laughs> 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 Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strive Savannah I'm coming home Savannah We'll never be alone Savannah
ya baba hii Kibera is my home. This is where I call home. This is where I was born and raised. I've lived here for 20 plus years. Every time we closed school, I was the happiest to go back home. Because you know what? East or West, home is best. I know what air smells like here. I understand what poverty feels like. I understand how painful it feels like. Lacking basic education, food and electricity. I can say I've learned to appreciate and be content with the little that I have. We don't choose the family to be born into, neither do we write application letter. We find ourselves in these families and wherever you find yourself, appreciate that place, love that place, embrace that culture, nurture positivity, change lives, bring smiles into people's faces because nothing is permanent and what is impossible doesn't exist to God. <laughs>
I would like to highly appreciate Shofko Shining Hope for Communities, which was started in 2004 with passion by Kennedy Odede. The organization has impacted millions of people living in the slums. Personally, my life has changed through this organization. They offer slum dwellers free handcraft training, including tailoring, hairdressing, catering, beadwork, employability, and so much more. We can make the world a better place. Humanity is still possible. Let's remember that delayed is not denied and it always gets better. Let go and let God. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack